The blessed month of Ramadan is here again, and it is a season that offers the widest opportunity to maximize rewards from Allah. Avail yourself these opportunities by picking sponsorship of any of our spiritually rewarding programs. Tarawi prayers from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, living in the month of Ramadan, reason to believe, interactive segment which broadens your knowledge in Islam, our call to prayers in three segments are also avenues for worship. For sponsorship details, please contact Basira on 0823-373-8264 or Said on 0817 419 Ramadan Diet. It's all about spiritual upliftment. Ma Salam. Ramadan is here. Do you want to remain relevant and sustain the growth of your business using ultra modern machines for improved productivity? Well, look no further because YKM Products Limited has in stock various industrial machines to help you achieve your business objectives. Our machines are of top quality standard with six month warranty on mechanical parts and technical support. Contact us today at YKM Products Limited, Head Office, 42 Old Yaba Road, Adekunle Bus Stop, Ebute Metal, Lagos. Showroom, 2 Stock 4, Ganyu Abiodo Close, Abdua Bus Stop, Alagbado, Lagos. Telephone 0803 321 YKM Products Limited, Home of Industrial Machines. All your home and office needs online and get it delivered to your doorstep within 24 hours. Kara.com.ng is your surest store for home appliances, inverters, generators, laptops, phones, and computers. Order now at www.kara.com.ng or call 0704-491-3736. Kara.com.ng Online shopping redefined. فبعث الله محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم يدعوهم إلى عبادة الله وحده بأن يفردوه بها بلا عبادة. So this is the mission by which Allah subhanahu wa taala sent Prophet Muhammad that you followers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you should stop giving services and worships to the stars. Stop worshiping idols. Stop worshiping rivers. Stop worshiping stones. They can't benefit you. And uh, uh, to make it worse, uh, you are going to leave, uh, you are going to uh, lose uh, everything. Why you fridu who be kelmetila ilaha illallah, Mortakadina lima anaha, Amina bimukadoha, while Allah yadu ma alloy ahadan, and that uh, to unify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their worship with the word la ilaha illallah. With the word la ilaha illallah, Bearing in mind the meaning of La ilaha illallah, we have explained it. Amilina bi muktadoha, and to be working with the conditions of La ilaha illallah. Wa Allah ya duuma Allahi ahadan, and they should not call uh, any other thing, any other object besides Allah subhanahu wa taala. Quran says, Lahu da'wa tul haq, waladina ya duuna min dunhi, la yastajibuna lahum bishe. To Allah alone belongs the right uh, supplication. To Allah alone belongs the right supplication. Other objects, other people that uh, they call besides Allah, they cannot uh, answer their call. They cannot answer their call. Even if it seems they do answer. They do not answer and they cannot answer their call. Uh, in addition to this, Al Imam Sunaani gave us another quotation from the Quran where Allah says, Wa ala Allahi fal yatawakkal al mu'minun. And on Allah alone should the believers depend. On Allah alone should the believers depend. Uh, a, a verse in the Quran gives us a clear example that uh, we should not give service and worship to the idols. Quran says, 
ان الذين تدعون من دون الله لن يخلقوا ذبابا ولا يجتمعوا له وان يسلبهم الذباب شيئا لا يستنقذوه منه ضعف الطالب والمطلوب these objects these people you call besides allah لن يخلقوا ذبابا they cannot create ordinary fly they cannot create ordinary fly even if they uh, make it a joint effort a joint effort all objects that are being worshiped from nigeria to india to pakistan let them carry out a joint effort to create a fly quran says la yakhluqu dhubaban wala yashtamaula they cannot create it now another example which is lighter than the first is this wa in yaslubuhum dhubabu shay'an now if a fly snatches certain thing in the front of this idols layas tanqidu minu they cannot recover it from the fly a river for example a tree for example a stone for example an idol for example if a fly now goes and snatch anything from it can it recover it from the fly the answer is no quran now concludes and says da'afa talibu wal matlub those who seek help and protection from the uh, from the idols and the idols which they call each of them they are weak da'afa talib wal matlub wa qala ta'ala fatawakkalu in kuntum mu'minin and depend on allah if you are true believers we said it the other time that uh, depending on allah is a type or is an aspect of worship today uh, there is another adage and please uh, bear it with me uh, this time i will say it in english uh depending on allah depending on allah and uh, the cap of a muslim becomes a uh, uh, shorter that is a uh, whatever happens anyway uh, it is according to the wish of allah if this happens well well allah, allah likes to happen so look at him muslim needs to believe in this and depending on allah connects directly with the belief in al qadar it connects directly to the belief in al qadar that is whatever happens we believe that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to happen at exactly that hour I mean, shall the Sidq fill a man be la, a laya tawakalu illa alay. That is a part of conditions of la ilaha illallah. He said to depend on Allah alone, on Allah alone, and not to depend on other things. A friend of mine during my stay in Medina, maybe year 2000 or something like that, he was coming for Hajj regularly. first time second time third time one day i asked him why do you come every year like this uh, i can imagine imagine money you are spending why don't you use this on other things that will bring benefit on you and on the people that you do he told me when he replied he said <laughs> you just be thanking allah that uh, you understand it this way you see we know ourselves some of us there it was referring to nigeria some of us are some people who are associate, who associate themselves with the court uh, secret courts some of us consort abalis so i that uh, don't go to secret courts and don't go to any person all i depend is that uh, when i come to kaaba and i say my prayer i know that uh, whatever i need is cleared what i want to point out here is a dependence that is a depending on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which means some muslims depend on other objects besides allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa amara allah ibadahu an yaqulu iyyaka na'budu the author is giving us example from the chapter that we read regularly ordinary muslim besides this this chapter 
70 times. That is, if all he does is to observe uh, 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 obligatory salat. We said the elements of ibadah, of worship, we gave, we gave us uh, proofs from the first three chapters of Surah Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmidi. Praise is due only to Allah, the Lord of the words. This is love. The love of the words. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the beneficent, the merciful. This is hope. Maliki Yawmidi, the owner of the judgment day. This is fear. Now, after this declaration, after declaring the elements of worship, that it is for Allah alone, for that we now say, na'budu wa iyyaka You alone will worship, and you alone will ask for help. A grammatical function, or, uh, please permit me, to clear this. It is easy to express the same thing in the word na'buduka when you It also means we worship you and we ask help from you. But uh, the composition of iyaka na'bud requires to translate it with alone. That is a uh, you alone will worship. That is, we do not give our service and worships to any other objects. When we say na'buduka, we can add other objects to it. But iyaka na'budu, it is impossible to add another thing to it. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Now we say clearly, you alone will worship and you alone will ask for help. Muslims today, we now differentiate between worship and asking of help. Whereas, they are the same thing. Asking for help is also giving services and worship. If we direct our request to Allah alone, then this symbolizes uh, giving services and worship to Allah alone. If we direct it to any other object, it means we are involving a shirk. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, protect us from falling into shirk. وَلَا يَصْدُكُ قَائِلُ هَذَا إِلَّا إِذَا أَفْرَدَ الْعِبَادَةَ لِلَّهِ تَعَالَى وَإِلَّا كَانَ كَاذِبًا مَنْهِيًّا عَنْ أَنْ يَقُولَ هَذِي الْكَلْبَةَ إِذْ مَعْنَاهَا نَخُصُّكَ بِالْعِبَادَةِ وَنُفْرِدُكَ بِهَا وَهُوَ مَعْنَا قَوْلِهِ فَإِيَّايَ فَعْبُدُونَ وَإِيَّايَ فَاتَّقُونَ One who resides Fatiha and says, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ which means you alone will worship and you alone will ask for help. Such a Muslim will not be truthful if he directs his worship to any other thing besides Allah. And we know clearly that a prayer, asking, seeking for help and protection is part of a worship. It's part of a worship. Al-Imam Sana'ani gave us other citations from the Quran where Allah says, فَإِجَّايَ فَتَّقُونَ and uh, وَإِجَّايَ فَعْبُدُونَ and uh, do not give service and worships but to me alone and do not fear any other person but fear Allah alone. فَإِفْرَوْضُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى بِتَوْحِدِ الْعِبَادَةِ لَا يَتِمْ إِلَّا بِأَنْ يَكُونَ الدُّعَاهُ كُلُّهُ لَهُ وَالنِّدَاءِ فِي الشَّدَائِدِ وَالرَّخَاءِ لَا يَكُونُ إِلَّا لِلَّهِ وَحْدَ والاستغاثة والاستعانة بالله وحده واللجأ إلى الله والنذر والنحر له تعالى وجميع أنواع العبادات من الخضوع والقيام تذللا لله تعالى والركوع والسجود والطواف والتجرد عن الثياب والحلق والتقصير كله لا يكون إلا لله عز وجل Therefore, worship should not be directed but to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, we should not call on any other thing but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-istighatha, 
which is a seeking for help. Seeking for help. We should seek for help from Allah alone. Here we need to underline it. Seeking for help. Alistigatha. Somebody swimming in the river, or swimming pool for, for, or swimming pool for example, and uh, he cannot control himself again. And uh, afraid of a dying. Now says, help, calling for help. Do we recognize such a person falling in shirk? The answer is no. Because there are people who are capable of uh, granting him uh, a happy hand at that moment. Another example. I ran into a problem, for example. A problem. I now offer a no filler. Or not even a no filler. I now say, my mother in the heaven, please don't see. Come and support me at this moment. Calling on the dead for help is a shirk. Shirk. Also, another example is this. I have a mentor. We have given an example of this. I ran into a problem also. I now called on him. Uh, the person that is not at that location and he cannot reach me at that moment, all I need is a spiritual help at that time. If I do it, I fall into shirk. Another example, pictures of some people. Pictures of some people. You see, you don't need to be wasting your time. Wherever my pictures are hanged, just look at it and you are blessed. Some of my students narrated uh, a story that... Uh, they went on a visit, and uh, they were told that a uh, certain picture, name with head, certain picture, the thieves came to the house to rob the house when they were not there. And as they came, now the person in the picture shouted at them, go out. <laughs> and they did. And I now asked them, who narrated this story? They said, the family did visited. Were they around? No, they were not around. How did they know? People said they saw some people coming out. <laughs> I'm giving these examples because it is what we hear. How many, how many mosques uh, do we have uh, a gathering like this? How many mosques do we have? All we hear all around is about uh, seeking help uh, from the people. Uh, and uh, this is shirk. This is shirk. Uh, we continue. The author gave us another example, I mean, of a worship, like a, uh, shaving the hair, for example, or removing the hair on the head. It should not be done, but for the sake of Allah. And we know where we do this, when we go for Hajj or Umrah. We either cut it or we remove it com com completely. But what if somebody recommends a prayer for me and says, uh, or a bath, and says, before you perform that bath, you need to remove your ear, shave your ear completely. If I do this, I'm falling in shirk, unless with a condition. If there are, uh, if I have problem in the head itself, that is a maybe as a result of a virus or some other things. And uh, he wants to treat certain virus. But if it does not have connection to it, then it is a type of shirk. Also, another to slaughter animal. It is type of worship. And we know almost uh, once every year, Muslims slaughter animals. And when we slaughter it, we say, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. And it is a commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is a, to give sacrifice to him. Yes. Now, I do not have time 
to say much. What I will say here, besides uh, slaughtering animal for the purpose of Eid, which is uh, known, if I slaughter animal for any other purpose that is not supported with authority from the messenger of Allah, Muhammad Sallallahu it will be part of shirk. An example is this. Uh, Turkey, for example, or hen, for example, or fowl, for example. Somebody give me a recommendation. You want to become rich in your life? I said, yes, I want to become rich. Okay, there is a way out. Go and buy a fowl, big one or white one. We now slaughter it. When we slaughter it, our uh, blood will be given to some objects. After that, you now use the remaining blood to rub your head. This is shirk, complete shirk. Another example is this. Particular job is being carried out by unseen agents. Unseen agents. You know what I mean by unseen agent? They are genes. They are genes. If they do the job for you, you need to put uh, a fowl in the room. Just leave it like that. You don't need to slaughter it. Just put a fowl there. You see what will happen. What will happen after that? That uh, the fowl will be dead. What killed that fowl? In fact, I don't need to ask such a question. What I need to be concerned about is uh, I have been giving sacrifice to other things besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To other things besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, if the intention I have, we gave example of slaughtering animals for aid purpose. Another purpose may be, for example, uh, but uh, ceremony, for example, or any other thing that I'm just giving it out uh, for people to eat, not with any other intention, then this is not shirk. This is not shirk. Uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continually shower his blessings on the organizers of this gathering and uh, to every one of us that will participate here. Uh, whatever good that comes out from me, then it is with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Any other thing that is useless, it is from shaitan. Here I would like to quote Al-Imam Malik, rahimahullah. Uh, he rightly said, Kullum mina yukhad wa yurad illa sahiba hadhi rawda. There is no man, there is no scholar, there is no one People will pick something from him. And some other thing, they may reject it. The only authority that his words should be completely taken is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah continue to shower his blessings upon this Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I stop. Illa Allah la ilaha Illa Allah la ilaha Illa Allah ma lana rabbun siwa La ilaha